Jennifer Priest here with a fun bead tutorial. For this project, you're going to need some flat beads, some color box mini molding mats, and some surfaces multi-surface solvent ink. So what you're gonna do is ink up your molding mat and then press it flat on the bead using the palm of your hand. These beads are a little bit rounded, so I need to use the palm of my hand to kind of round that uh, rubber around the bead. Now you'll repeat this with our different patterns of the molding mats and then let that ink set and dry. Now once they've dried, get a bead palette or a beading board and just kind of lay out your design. I'm using some round wood beads in here to kind of round it out. And also this helps you make sure that you don't have any patterns back to back. And I'm taking some uh, beading wire and this is like a braided woven beading wire from Cousin. Um, I'm just cutting it a couple inches longer than the length of the actual um, necklace and then I'm just going to loop the end and add a crimping bead and crimp it so that I have a little loop at the end that I can attach my jump rings for my clasp to. Now once I've created that loop on the end I'm ready to start beading so I'm just going to follow the pattern I've laid out here and thread all the beads onto the wire. Once that wire is totally filled with the beads I'll again use the crimping tool to add a loop on the end with a crimp bead. Then all you have to do is add your clasp and you're ready to wear your necklace. Now you can stamp both sides of the beads if you want. I didn't, um, but you can do that definitely if you want to. So here you can see the finished necklace and it's just kind of got a little bit of a worn look. You could take sandpaper to it if you want. And this is me actually wearing the necklace with the tribal shirt that I have. So thanks so much for tuning in. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the end of the video and I'll see you again soon.